G'day guys, it's Ben again, here to bring another video. This one is going to be looking at tying the blood knot. So there's lots of different variations of the blood knot and different people uh, refer to different knots as the blood knot. Uh, I grew up tying this knot uh, probably actually uh, one of my earlier memories because <laughs> um, I, I learned this when I was probably four or five years old and, and it's probably the predominant fishing knot that I use. Uh, for a lot of um, hooks and stuff like that. So, uh, although I understand that there's lots of other um, uh, people out there, as I say, that refer to different knots as the blood knot, but this is what I've always learned as being the blood knot. So let's take a look at tying the blood knot. Uh, so I've been looking around for a while at something suitable to use uh, as, as like a large fishing hook, really. Um, I don't live near a coastal town, so um, it's a little bit hard for me to find some of those bigger things. Anyway, we're going to use a 10 peg for today's purposes and we're going to say this is the uh, the fishing line. Obviously a fishing line itself, which when you're tying to a hook, it's predominantly a nylon monofilament type line, but, but there we go. So you obviously thread the line through the eye of the hook. Uh, so what we do is we pass the line through the eye of the hook. Okay, so there we go. Like so. We're going to wrap the line around, around itself two, three, four, five times minimum and then we're going to pass the tag through the loop and then back through itself. Yeah, so this is what we're looking for so far. Alright, we're then going to just pull that tie and obviously a nylon monofilament line will tie slightly different to to this which is um, braided 550 or paracord but that is pretty much what we're looking to achieve and I find this a very very strong knot um, and I, I, um, I as I say I, I learned to tie this probably when I was maybe uh, four or five years old and I've I've used this knot pretty much as my mainstay fishing knot ever since. Um, you want to cut the tag but not too close to the hook so that once there's some um, load on that line um, you don't want it to untie on itself. Um, but otherwise uh, that's, that's how that works. Alright guys so please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in my next video.